Hey, what's up y'all? It's Mr. Success Around Money and guess what? We have another project going on. So, um, the, we bought a duplex, me and my business partner. Uh, he's a great guy, his name is Lester. And we went in on a few projects prior to last year and we just started to create a friendship that was just, I mean, it was crazy. We were, both work well together, we both know what we want and we both love real estate. So guess what? So we had, a, we had got this duplex together as a business team and we, renovated the last one um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that before but this one right here is one of the ones that we had to actually get a tenant out of it was a major major just a crazy situation so i'm gonna get into that story later but from now i want y'all to see the actual house that we're going to well side of the duplex that we're going to be renovating come on let's go can, can you work at night yeah okay uh so i'll call you later on yeah, so just just call me, um, just call me, cause I mean it's some things that I, I need to get done already, so um, just just let me know what time. I'll probably in about two hours, about, about two two three hours from now. Okay, all right, just call me, cause then I want to go over the stuff with you, and then we'll go from there. All right. All right, y'all, so this is the actual unit right here. Um, it's not bad, it's a lot of things that we have to do. Um, it, it's in very terrible shape, honestly, but we're gonna go ahead and get this this thing painted up, get things done, change light fixtures, change the AC unit and things like that. So, I mean, we have a lot of covers that's not ran. The stairs, I mean, look at the stairs right here. It's, it's wet, I mean, it's, it's broken down. I mean, things like this. So, I mean, it's just bad. I mean, it's just it's crazy how people would, you know, leave your property of like leaving. But this what this is what you get into real estate with. We had a, we have a leak upstairs that we're gonna fix. You see that the indicator of that is a leak from upstairs. So, um, that's that. Um, look at the stairs; they're kind of bad. Well, they are bad. It's not kind of. It's, it's basically the same concept of um, the last one. It's just different layout, um, different side. I mean, you look at the walls, look at, I mean, I don't know what that is, but it's just bad, bad shape. Um, so that's probably where the leak is right here in it. So we'll take that out, see what's going on. Most likely it's coming from this shower on this side right here. And we're going to make it work. So this is bathroom number two. Bathroom number three. And I'm going to show you guys the pictures where how they left it. <laughs> that That's going to be the funny part right there is how they left it. I mean, look at this room. I mean, look at that. Look at that dirt. Look at all that. I, mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but, you know, just the paint. To paint this thing is just crazy. No. So man, it's just a lot of stuff. I mean, leak from everywhere is just I mean, look at the look at the light switch covers. I mean this thing is this thing is disgusting, honestly. I just I don't even feel comfortable even touching a lot of things without gloves on, but you know, this, this is what I do. I love it. So, um, this is it y'all. So I am actually going to do a special, special thing with this one. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do something real special. I think I should get, change it up a little bit. So, uh, that's it right here. So listen guys, I mean, real estate can be honestly, uh, it, it can drain you on certain things and things like this, um, we actually, um, when we got the property, right? So what happened was we got the property, one tenant was already in here and the other one was vacant. So, um, 
So, you know, we did the vacant side, we got everything ready and everything done. And what happened was we had a tenant in this one that actually, you know, we met her, things got a little irate. Um, it wasn't nothing crazy, but it was just, it was a situation where she didn't like the new things that we were gonna uh, instill in, you know, being owners of the, of the um, duplex. So, um, that being said, you know, we got into it with her a few times. Um, you know, my business partner, he was, you know, he was trying to communicate with her. It wasn't going well. And um, it took about two months for us to get her out of here. And they left a lot of things in here. We had to go back and then deposit. It was, it was a major, major headache. But, um, you know, we got to a place where we, you know, we, we leveled things out. Uh, we understood her. She understood us. So it, it came to be out a better situation that they started. Um, so within a month or two, um, that her being in here, not paying rent, and we actually want her out because we needed to get this um, get this unit ready. Uh, within that, I mean, it's very, very stressful, but that's what comes with investing in real estate. You never know what you're gonna get. So within that being said, we're excited to actually have this uh, side vacant because we can actually go ahead and get started. So. Um, I am going to actually uh, take inventory of what we have to do, get started, and you know, um, just get started. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of things to do. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a lot because, you know, it has good bones, but I mean, you know, when you start to do things like this, you start to figure out what and what not to do. So um, this one right here, we're trying to get this thing turned around real quick. Um, that's it, really. I mean, there's nothing else to be said, but let's get started. Let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? So before I get to my jobs and before I start to get to renovating the house, I'm a contractor, so I do have a lot of tools. And when I have a lot of tools, sometimes the week get, you know, a little hectic. So, you know, tools get scattered around, you know, things get out of place and it causes chaos throughout my week. So before I actually you know, start renovating the house or before I get a bigger project, this is what I do. I go ahead and clean my van out and take a day off just to actually, you know, clean my tools and see what I have to buy because sometimes I lose tools as well. So um, this is one of the things that I do as a contractor and before all my renovations. So um, as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I have a large van. So, I mean, as you can tell, let me put it in here. So I have a large van and you could tell, I mean, this is a huge van and it's, a, it's packed with tools. So um, I have my tools here. I just found a parking lot and just actually, um, I just actually found a parking lot and start cleaning my van out. It's no problem. I never had anybody, you know, get upset about it. I find a respectful place where nobody is and then I go ahead and start cleaning it out. So this is what I'm doing here. I got my, uh, my 409, I'm going to go ahead and clean. So this is what I love, I love a clean space before I get to do all my projects, any, any renovations I get, I make sure my workspace is clean and I have the tools and it works so much faster, guys. So, um, like I said, I have my truck right here in the empty parking, parking spot. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this stuff uh, cleaned out and get it all packed up. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace. All right, y'all. So I am all done and this is it. This may not look like you know organization but guess what it was way worse than what it is now so i'm ready to rock and roll so i'm gonna actually go to home depot and start getting the um you know the materials for the house let's go i'm gonna start getting the materials for the house so let's go paint right here this is a lot of brushes right here a lot of bare paint that's what I'm taking back this is the oops paint so this is like the paint that's been mixed in a wrong color 
and they took them back basically. So um, it's at a discount price. A lot of it is a discount price. Like this is $2 right here. This is what I look for sometimes. Let me see if this has a price tag on it. So this right here is, is $9. And this is probably originally, oh, I don't know, probably about $50. Let's see. Yeah, it's $30 right here. This is probably about a $100 uh, bucket. So, we're going here. So, usually when I come in here, I get, um, you know, I get these right here because um, it's just all in one. You know, you see you got two brushes, a roller, the pan, all that. So, I typically get one of those. Um, and I have a big, big nap. Um, and it's... Let me see. I think it's somewhere over around here. Try to figure it out. Every Home Depot is different, so I'm trying to figure out where they have them at, if they even have them. Yep, there they go. So I got the 18 roll, 18 inch rollers. So I'm gonna get one of those for the main for the main walls. We can go ahead and knock this thing out. So. Oh, uh, I think it's a it's a flat. So yeah, flat right here. Machine is professional. Let me just get one of each, so I can see which one I like best. I'm not sure. Hmm, I don't know. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get these two. I'm gonna see which one I like best. Oh. I'm gonna get one of these as well because I got the whole kit in them. So, um, make sure you check out if you're doing like a flat or semi-gloss because some of these sets are roughly around, you know, so it's um, semi-gloss surfaces right here, you know, smooth surfaces. So, um, typically I get this right here because it's $10. You know give or take um the best right here is 15 dollars which I'm not sure what's the difference between that and the first one but i'm gonna go ahead and get uh, uh, i probably will get this one just because it looks like the same thing no i'm a firm believer you get what you pay for so i mean i may lose five dollars but i mean you know that so get some can liners right here all right so this is the paint y'all Deciding which one to get on this one. I think I'm gonna just. I will see. I'll make sure I get tape just in case. Um, Six dollars. Oh, let me get this one right here. Oh, this is small. Small size, so five dollars. I think I'm gonna need it anyway. Excuse me. So that's the paint, y'all. So I'm just Thicker at that, I'm gonna go get some uh, mud. Get some mud right there, too. All 
All right, so you always want to get caught. If you're painting, go ahead and get caught. Just, it's just, it's necessary. Go ahead and get it. Get a whole box, because you're going to need it. Um, let me figure out what else I need to get without trying to spend a lot of money. I'm trying to find the mud. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all this. So remember I told y'all about the bear paint that was um, $30? Look at that. $155, $30. Discount. You see? Always look for the discount when you're doing rental properties because you're just saving money. You're trying to make money. Why spend a lot of money when you're trying to make a lot of money? You get it? <laughs> So, I do have a sprayer. That sprayer I need to get. No, I'm just looking. Okay. Thank you, though. So I think I'm going to go ahead and spray it. I think I have a pump. I think I'm going to use it. Uh, $84. Hmm, something to think about. I think I'm going to spray it. It's a big unit. Hmm, do I want to spend the money to spray it? Do I want to go ahead and use manual labor? I don't know. Something to think about. 